call this regular meeting of the Jacksonville Planning Advisory Board to order. At this time, if you'll please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let us pray. O oh Lord our God, who is a God of order and justice, and is pleased when people govern and are governed according to your will, I ask you, in the name of Jesus Christ, to bless this city and its inhabitants. Bestow your guidance upon this community and all who are in authority. Keep us mindful of their sacred trust in public office and grant them wisdom for their difficult tasks. Give them a sense of honesty and decency, a spirit of humanity and service, and a sensitivity to the needs of every citizen. Give us all who live here a grateful heart for the advantages we enjoy, ready obedience to our laws, and profound concern for the rights and privileges of every citizen. Help us to be a light to the world and salt to the earth in our city. And bless us, O Lord. Bless our neighbors. Bless this committee, Lord, as we uh, ponder over the business before us tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, Pam, I know you're going to watch this in a minute. That was Suzanne Nelson leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance and Al Keys with the invocation. Uh, at this time, if you'll look at the agenda, it only has one item on it. Uh, are there any changes? If not, a motion to approve the agenda is in order. Make a motion. Motion from Jim Dorn, second from Al Burgess. Any discussion? All those in favor, please signify by raising your right hand. All those opposed, like. The motion passes. Um, review and approval of minutes. I'm sure if you, you, like me, if you got yours in the mail, you've had a chance to look over them. If not, you probably have a, a set that you've just got now. If there are any, if there are no corrections, then a motion to approve them would be in order. We have a motion to approve from Al Burgess, second from Jim Dorn. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion, please signify by raising your right hand. All those opposed? Motion passes. City Council update. Councilman Mr. Warden Rock. Robert. Uh, just, uh, just looking at our, our past last month's report, and of course, uh, we City Council uh, did uh, concur with uh, all three of the items that y'all uh, sent forward to us. Um, of course, one was the UDO, all the changes that we made uh, in regarding to some of the non-conforming signs and so forth, um, and also to the uh, LED uh, outdoor uh, advertising on the uh, on the billboards. And of course, we also approved uh, a rezoning for Mrs. Uh, Annette Metz, um, which is a single family. Um, Actually, it was, a, it was a rezoning from multifamily to uh, corridor commercial. That's the property, if you remember it, that uh, uh, has a business on it and has never been residential and was just got lumped into residential when we uh, adopted some of the some of the uh, switched over from the old uh, zone to the to the new zoning. And then, uh, and we also approved um, a. Uh, rezoning from uh, residential also to corridor commercial on Wilmington Highway and Kennedy Road. That was Fred Beecham's property. So all I had except that uh, I wish each and every one of you a very happy Thanksgiving coming up. Uh, my favorite holiday of the year just because it gives us a chance to, to give thanks for all the many blessings that we've received here in, in Jacksonville and Oslo County and North Carolina and the our, our great, great government, so USA. So thank you. Thank you very much, Councilman Warden. There being no old business, I'd like to go right to new business. Jeremy? Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. I know a few of you just recently got your agenda, but just to be 
be a new project is um, the planning board reviewed it a few years ago. Um, I believe it was the June 2013 planning advisory board meeting. And this is the site plan for the Sturgeon City um, Civic and Environmental Education Center. Um, they applied at that the city of Jacksonville applied at that time for a type three site plan with a special use permit. Since that time, again it's located at Sturgeon City, since that time the site plan has expired, however the special use permit is still valid. Uh, the site plan expired after a one year extension. Basically it expired because no building permits were pulled. Um, obviously funding and uh, city projects being what they are. Again, this is the location. This is aerial photography of the Sturgeon City site. The property is zoned downtown business. It is surrounded by a variety of zoning types, uh, predominantly residential. Uh, RMF LD and RMF HD to the south, uh, RSF 5 to the northwest, and RSF 7 uh, in the uh, Bay over on Bayview and Warlick Street. This height plan proposes a 12,790 square foot building addition to the existing Sturgeon City complex that would be the home for the, uh, once again, the Sturgeon City Civic and Environmental Education Center. Um, the reasons it was tied to a special use permit at that time and still valid now are it's located within the flight path overlay and would have a large group of assemblage and under our ordinance anything in the FBO requires a special use permit if there's going to be a large assemblage of people. Also they had some deviance, deviations in their required landscaping uh, due to um, existing uh, buffers out there, existing natural vegetation in some of the um, areas along the streets. At that time planning board had recommended approval of the site plan along with a special use permit. So at this time staff is recommending that planning advisory board approve once again the site plan with an existing special use permit and we would be taking this forward to the city council uh, next Tuesday night. I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. As I, as I understand it, it's just, just a, a renewal of something that had previously been approved. Yes, sir. It went through the TRC. There was no changes. It still meets the city standards. Um, and so it's, unfortunately, it just expired before we could um, bring it back through an extension. Uh, council would have the purview to grant an extension if it had not expired. Um, but because of the expiration, it goes through a renewal process. So basically, it's treated brand new. And now we're looking at a flight overlay plan that's in that, in the it, corridor. It, it, it was it, um, in 2013, it was in the flight path overlay, which was one of the triggers for the necessary, or necessitated the uh, special use permit. And I'm on that, I'm on that board, so I don't know whether I can properly vote or not. I wouldn't, I think, I think you'd be fine. Okay. Anyone else have any questions? No. Um, is this the same exact plan that we had last same time? Same layout, same everything. Yes, sir. Just to add it was good for two years. It was extended for one one year period of time by the development service director, Reggie. And then nothing happened and it died. And this is just to pick it up and give it a new two year lifespan. And uh, we believe the building permits would be pulled at that time within the next two years. Part of what was happening there was an environmental concern. They had found uh, some contamination of, of lead, which was believed to have been a car battery or something like that. And uh, they finally got clearance on it. And I, I suppose it just drug on and on and on. But that was one of the things that delayed it. I do know that there was some delays due to environmental concerns. I'm not sure that it was exactly where this building sits. I think it was part of the bigger 30 some acres and somewhere on that 30 acres and that all that's been basically where it's proposed that's been carved out and all that has right. gone through the process. It was right at the very edge of the parking lot between the between the uh, the other housing and the edge of the parking lot. This is where it 
Okay. Sounds like everything is in order. If uh, yes, yes, sir. I'd like to uh, make a motion that we approve the Type Three site plan with approved special use permit as presented. We have a motion to approve the site uh, plan and special use permit, the Type Three site plan. Do we have a second? Suzanne's second. Ms. Nelson, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion? Hearing none. Hearing none. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by raising your right hand. All those opposed, motion passes. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jeremy. It looks like we're up to reports. Go for it, guys. Good evening, um, Chairman, Planning Board members. If you would, please save the date, January the 3rd. That is going to be the Boards and Commissions Summit with City Council, the annual summit. What, what day of the week is that? I have not Probably looked. Tuesday, okay. I think. I would Sunday imagine the first. Tuesday would make sense. The first. Thank you, Al. Once more information comes out, uh, I was just given that date this morning. So once additional information comes out, we'll forward that to you. Um, as soon as it becomes available, just wanted you all to know so that you can save that. Do you date know if the format is going to be similar to the way it was in the past? Mm -hmm. The date's the main thing that I uh, wanted to pass that along to you for now. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? That's it. Thank you. No, no report. I um, want to wish you and your families a happy Thanksgiving and do the same to all of the citizens of Jacksonville. Thank you very much. Okay. Any other comments? Then there'll be a motion to adjourn. Jim's motion to adjourn. May we have a second? Second. Second from Mr. Keyes. All those in favor, raise your hand. Good. And we're adjourned. Is that it?